Hey everybody, Christian leaders, right? We could sometimes put them on pedestals. Mm. So today's quick topic, we're talking about today's little discussion. Um, you know, you might've heard about the, the thing with Ravi Zacharias, Carl Lentz. Uh, these, are men, these are men of, of uh, great influence. Yes. Of, you know, in, in, thousands in, of people. Thousands of people yes. in the Christian community, right? Uh, in the, um, you know, just in the, in the church. And so we read this article by Kevin Simington. Uh, you can pull it up on mychristiandaily.com and the title is, uh, The Dangers of Putting Christian Leaders on Pedestals. Yes, and so um, the article was really good and was talking about, you know, what I got from it is when a top leader or a, a mega church pastor or a celebrity pastor or someone of, of renown mm -hmm. you know when they fall then it hurts a lot of people it right it does hurt a lot of people and and you start feeling um that trust was broken and that it was a sham right yes yes and so the problem with pedestals right chuck is that the higher you put someone up then the harder that they fall yes. right and so one one person in the article it says that one christian leader was asked about her celebrity status so she's already been given this status mm -hmm. as a celebrity she says it's anti the gospel the more you put a person on a pedestal the more people think there's a special anointing on them which is not true and it actually makes the church go backwards and not forwards we're not going to reach the ends of the earth if we're relying on a few specially anointed gifted people, the good news is that the job of getting the gospel out is given to ordinary weak kind of people. Yeah. So I think that, you know, with this topic, um, I mean, I did personally, like I read Ravi's books. I listened to RZIM, not too much Carl Lentz, but I was really heartbroken. Um, because essentially it's almost like he lived a double life. Yes. And one of my friends told me that, you know, when when someone's like that much on a pedestal, like the spiritual attack is 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 more fierce. Fierce and then they're and then like I feel like when you're up that high, you're exposed to like deeper levels of bondage mm. because the enemy's just going to come at you. Mm -hmm. So I feel like maybe, you know, um, it's 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 just difficult to talk about because it was their accountability right. um, or just someone to just be a friend to that yes, person, you know, absolutely um, I know that often even just regular celebrities that are in the world like actors and stuff They could feel alone, yeah, you know, like um, I think of Michael Jackson, right? He he felt alone a lot because yes. he, they they he couldn't even Who go could he trust? Yeah, Who could he hang like out that. With? and I'm not mm -hmm. sure if any of these people felt that way, but I think that it's important for us as Christians. Um, number one, don't put people on pedestals. Yes. But number two, like they're just, they always say it from the pulpit too, that they're just ordinary people, but really they're not. Because we do expect leaders to um, represent the Lord, right. you know, in a, in a, in a, more what way would i say more um, well they they impactful have a way and and they're the shepherd you know yes. uh, a pastor or a teacher or a leader is called to shepherd the church and so i think i exactly what you're mm -hmm. you know discussing of accountability that's what i think is in the church we're called to be accountable to each other be vulnerable with each other and i just go to james 5 16 confess your trespasses to one another pray for one another the effective fervent prayer of a righteous avails much and we love that. And here's the but thing. But are you confessing? Part the first part of that verse. I don't know. Confessing to I can't to each answer other. that for someone, but I could answer it for myself. Like if I'm struggling and I'm going through something, then that's when I talk to another leader or I say, mm -hmm. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna step away from this for a minute. And I think of all those pe leaders that have done that. They have stepped away. Yes. They have said to themselves, Hey, you know what? I'm going to take a sabbatical or maybe just even step away from the ministry. There's been lots of pastors who say it's not my time to shepherd here anymore. Right. Um, maybe, uh, you know, I read that Carl Lentz said something that in his Instagram post that he was, uh, he just wasn't in him anymore. Uh, to, to, he was preaching, but it wasn't like. From a place of being depleted yeah, or something like that. Yeah, he was like, like yeah. he was preaching from a place of being depleted. Well, if you're recognizing that. You should step mm -hmm. away yes. before you do more, more damage. Yes, absolutely. Because God actually knew your heart and, you know, you actually made a choice and the rest is history. But it just hurts me and it pains me that all these people 
that follow them and follow these leaders, like it damages a lot of people. So I wanna encourage you if you were someone like me who did, you know, uh, I did look up to, you know, Ravi and you know, some, I don't know how I feel about like listening to any of his things anymore and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like I'm still processing all this. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I would go on to RZIM and read some of their statements if you haven't already. But again, may we all learn as Christians, right. like, Let's not put people at, at on a pedestal. Even I've had friends that they've walked away from the faith. The friends that I've looked up to, yes. and I've had to learn that hard lesson that you know they need to guard their heart just as much as I do. Amen. And we need to be those kind of friends that um, try to encourage them to uh, stay close to Jesus. Amen. And you know, I think that it takes a lot of courage to say, "Hey, I have a problem." Yes. And to tell your buddy, you know, even Jesus had the inner circle, right? And so we need to have close friends that we can pray and fast with and yes. bear each other's burdens yes. with. Amen. Because nobody's perfect, you know, I mean, apart, of course, only Jesus. But, and maybe that's the point, Chuck. The only one that should be on a pedestal is Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. You know, we Amen. love Billy Graham. I bless the Lord for Billy Graham. But he was a man. He was yeah. a grandpa. He was a dad. He's a human being. Yeah. And so I think that we need to be vulnerable with each other. And, you know, if you're a pastor, which neither one of us are, but I can imagine, a pastor is always hearing, hey, pastor, can you pray for me? Hey, yeah. pastor, can you pray for me? I have this problem. Can you talk with yeah. me? Can you meet with me? What about if we can say, is there anything I can pray for you, pastor? How are you doing? Yeah, but again, I feel like sometimes pastors they might not trust people. Maybe yeah. there's pastors out there they've been burned. Well, they times. can choose their inner circle. Yeah, you know they what I can. Mean? But a lot of times the inner circle is just another pastor. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Right. But and there's nothing wrong with that. I was just gonna say there's nothing wrong with Christian therapy either. Yeah, well, to go to a know, neutral, you know, licensed person. Yeah, if because you're struggling there's a confidentiality thing exactly. there too. Yes. Um. Exactly. So. Our, our counselor, you know, the, right. the word says that there's wisdom in a multitude of counseling, yes, counselors. Absolutely. So we just wanted to talk about that and just encourage you that we, should, we shouldn't we should put people on a pedestal. Um, we should remember that God has his hand on everybody. Mm, yes. And absolutely. when it's time for God to expose, I guess you could say, or for things to come out, they eventually will. And so we need to be re ready to... Um, you know, uh, if, if we put someone on a, on a pedestal, we need to be ready to be like, okay, what if this happens, right? Does that make sense? Yes, yes. I think a good um, plumb line is just the whole sum total of your life should be in truth and love and accountability. I mean, none of us has a perfect stainless life if you look at, you know, all of our life. But I think the point is that we want to represent Christ well. Yeah, we do. And when somebody falls that is really widely known, it is a black eye on the church. It is a black and eye on the church. And that's what breaks my heart. And the world heart. loves it. In the world, yes, the world, they eat it up. They eat it up. You it don't hear news articles about that about pastor. About someone that got saved. Yeah, or that pastor for, you know, 50 years that was faithful to the flock and faithful to his mm -hmm. wife. That's not making the news. No. So I think that we need to really be in prayer for our pastors and, you know, there should be accountability. And I think some churches have like little... um yeah. I'm not thinking, you know, like a And I think too, as a congregation, we need to be more boards, like... Boards, church boards. Church That's boards, what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> we need to be more too, as a, as, a, as a people, like, I heard a joke one time when people would say, well... What are, what are you where are you gonna what are you gonna eat after church and then the person would be like roast pastor get it roast I never heard that before. That was, That's yeah terrible. people will say that uh -huh. because they they want to go and be critical about well, wow. what did they say what that's, like that's, that's really wrong. sad yeah that's that super is sad, sad. Mm -hmm. so I think that you know we as a church need to be like sensitive too like these yes. are just people man. Like you need to really understand that these are people with feelings and with families. Right. And and struggles. And struggles. And real life struggles. Yeah, and like so we all have. Remember when you put someone on a pedestal, it's You're gonna get hurt. Yes. No matter what. Even yeah. So only Jesus Christ. Again, you guys, we need you guys to be in prayer for our leaders, for our pastors. Yes. We're praying for Ravi. Uh, his family, family yeah. and we're praying for Carl Lentz you know we pray that God would minister to you and speak to you and help you to be come back to a place where you know I mean you've 
you know the word already. I feel like I'm talking straight to you, but you know what I mean. God loves you. and God loves those people. Maybe you were someone that did serve in the church. You were, you were a leader. You were a pastor. And maybe you turned your back on God or you feel ashamed. Mm -hmm. But I just want you to know from my heart, I don't, I don't shame you. You know, God always wants you to come back. And God always, Amen. he loves, you know, he loves for you to get right with him and return right. to him. So um, we thank you for checking us out. We love you. God bless you guys. God Take bless it easy. Bye-bye.